Hey everyone, welcome to the LKO Love Your Lake Kids segment. My name is Blake and I will be your host throughout the series along with some of my friends. I will be hosting a segment called Blake on the Lake. Cue the intro. Today we talk about invasive species in and around Lake Kishagawagamog. Let's first start with the question of what is an invasive species? Invasive species are native to places, but the issue is when they go on a permanent vacation to places like North America. You see, invasive species can destroy entire food chains. They can also spread diseases that are not good for all the local wildlife. According to the Canadian Encyclopedia, there are 1,442 invasive species in Canada. Canada. Wow! Now let's talk about some invasive species on the lake. Let's start with the trapdoor snail, aka the Chinese mystery snail. The Chinese mystery snails are from Eastern Asia, and when they get full size, they can be as big as a toonie. These snails are called mystery snails because they give birth to snails that mysteriously appear. Whoa, that's mysterious. They are an issue because they clog pipes that suck in water and they also spread diseases that are not very good for the animals and plants that live in the lake naturally. Some ways that you can help stop them is to report them. When you see them, call 1-800-563-7711. You can also check your boats and motors for them as well. Now let's talk about the beach bark disease. The beach bark disease is a type of fungus that appears on beech trees. This species of fungi is native to Europe and is in the forest around Lake Shagawigamog. This disease causes beech trees to have weird bumps, yellow leaves, and, well, some not very good other side effects. Unfortunately, when a beech tree gets this, they die. That's why it is very important that we stop this disease. Some ways that you can help stop the disease is by not moving firewood. Firewood could have a little fungus in it that's, again, not very good for beech trees. If you touch one beech tree that has the disease and then one more that does not have the disease, you have just transmitted the beech tree disease. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Blake on the Lake. See you next time.